Hey guys, D Mike here from another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. This is essentially going to be the final wrap up episode of the game before we really go and head to the formidable oak. So, this one's going to be a little broken up again. There are seven fruit left in the game total that we need to get. And I was thinking maybe I do a little bit of this one. Collect the last couple fruit here with the final episode and whatnot. But no, I don't know if the final episode is going to be doable in one episode. It might take me two because the final boss is kind of a doozy. So I thought to myself, you know, let's just go and extend this episode a little bit. It's not really going to be a huge thing to do because, you know, we're essentially done with this area. These two fruit are very easy to get. The five in the tropical wilds will take a little bit more work, but these two are literally just grabbing fruit that are in the water, so which I believe we should be okay to do. Now that we have the blue Pikmin, it kind of gives you the opportunity to pick up the last thing. So yeah, we'll do this real quick. This shouldn't take too long. These ones, at least. And then we will... Then we'll grab Bulborb to excuse you. Pure panic. What pandemonium. Baby Bulborb's coming in hot. Not an issue. Okay. So we've got that. I think it might be a persimmon. 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 And then we have one last fruit to get, and that's on the other side of the of the river. And I forget how we get to the other side of the river. We can go this way. I always say it, and it's gonna be, you know, I'm beating a dead horse at this point with how redundant I've become playing this game, but the, the gaps in between recording sometimes are pretty big. I only record about an episode or two at a time because I don't really want to get too ahead of myself. I know that some people like to batch record, and they'll record like dozens of episodes at a time. That's probably a bit of an exaggeration. And that's fine. You know, if that's what you're up for and that's what you're into, then you do that. But I don't really have like the time slash energy to do that. For some people, maybe it's like a full time job and so they can do that. But for me, it's not. So also, I like to kind of pace myself. I feel like if I got too much work done in the game at a time, I wouldn't really enjoy it. I mean, this is just my own personal preferences. But now we know what that's called, the Toady Bloister, what a name. So we'll go ahead and take this, which I thought was a grapefruit, but I guess I think I read somewhere that it's like a Japanese pear, which, you know, you know how things are pear shaped. That's how I like it. But, you know, this one in particular is Kind of looks more like an apple, really. Or, you know, like I said, a grapefruit. So, let's make sure we got all of our Pikmans. And they can head back to the Drake, carrying it. And that's pretty much it. This is going to be a very short part of the episode. This is not the episode, mind you. And we're not going to really... Oh, something is happening. Oh, one of our pigmen got chomped. I don't know who that was, but... Oh, two of them did. Sorry, guys. That's unfortunate. I don't even know what that would have done that... Could have caused that to happen, but... We got a persimmon. Japanese pear? Huh? Okay. And that's pretty much it. I mean, we don't really need to do any more... Here. Although there are three pigmen... Somewhere? Copat, help. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're still back there. Okay, well, we'll send Charlie on the on the quick rescue mission just to grab our Pikmin, and then we'll call it a day. I know that we're a little behind on reds, so maybe maybe I get some reds out to propagate. In the final area of the game, the formidable, 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 I don't know how you say that word. You're going to want to have like a good mix of all the types of Pikmin. So just be mindful of that. 
It's just gonna be good. Stop trying to eat my Pikmin, you turd. Oh my goodness. All right, well, that that action plan did not work. If you could land, please. Oh, he gets health back as he flies? Um, excuse me. Oh, we can only attack his bum. Well, we're getting him now. It's time for revenge, baby. Yeah. This is a flighty joust, mate. I learned that, so. Yeah, go me. Slowly learning the names of a game that I've been playing for like two months now. So anyway, we'll have our red Pikmin. Not get a red pellet. Great. That's okay. We can get that red pellet though. We'll probably get a little bit of reds. Yeah, we don't really need a ton of reds, but I just wanted to make sure that we had all that we needed. Was that just... Did I literally go back here just for one Pikmin? Oh, and there's a Pikmin in the water? Oh my goodness. Alright, Charlie, your job is not done yet, my friend. So I guess we'll just keep getting reds in the process. Yeah, I don't... I wouldn't really say I need them, but, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to have a good amount. And for some reason, you know, reds are the, the Pikmin you start with. And I wound up having the fewest of them. And I think that that might have just been because once the shiny new toys came around, I prioritize those instead, so that was my fault. But it looks like the Arachnode is back. You know, I could I could send some, uh... Charge some reds here. Not all of them, but get some spicy sprays while we're at it. This is not meant to... I'm not trying to pad this episode out, by the way. That's not... That's not what I'm going for here, but... Oh. Hey, Brittany, can you carry that spicy berry? Thanks. No. This is not meant to be padding. I am just trying to kind of set myself up for the future because the final area, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to really call it a final area per se, but it is, it is a pain and you will want to have, I don't need all of you to carry this. Can you come back? You're going way too fast for me. Please, please slow down. Thank you. I actually just want the the proper amount. So that way I can use and I still, you know, I never killed that weird dragonfly thing. I think I'm gonna let it be. It just looks too graceful, you know. I'd feel bad. I thought there was another five pellet in here somewhere. I'd just like to have a few more reds for what we're gonna do. Like I was saying, you're just gonna want Oh, I hate you so much. Yeah, that's right. How's that feel? Not uh, any more my Pikmin, you little jerk. Okay. So here's the Bulborbs, which we don't want to deal with because they're nasty. That's okay. We'll take the skittering leaf bug thing and... Make good use of them. This game's all about recycling. I mean, that's just kind of it. And if you don't like recycling, then I don't know what to tell you. What's interesting is that when you leave these areas and then you do come back later on in the game, the game does respawn everything, I think for the most part. I don't know if it respawns mini bosses, let's find out. Okay, it does not. But hey, here's the blue Pikmin that just got kind of stuck. So there's that. Rescue that guy. And... Another bug. I think leaf bugs are kind of cool. I don't, I don't know if you viewers know what I'm talking about, but I think leaf bugs are pretty neat. Because they uh, have active camouflage, you know, they look like... They look like that, and I think that's pretty, pretty interesting how, you know, evolution has given them that, that ability, I suppose you could say like that. So we've got Brittany on spicy berry duty. Charlie's got the one blue Pikmin. The Wayward Sun. And yeah, we're just gonna head back to the Drake here in a moment. Might as well let our Pikmin collect one more spicy spray. We're getting pretty close to it. And we'll just have Alf. I don't know if there's any more accessible pellets right in this area. I don't think so. So we'll have a pretty good amount. I, I don't know exactly how many we'll have. But I think we'll have, we'll have, you know, north of 100, which is kind of what I want, so. 
That's good. And this gives us the right amount of Pikmin for the final clash, the climax of this Let's Play. Which won't technically end with the with the finale. There will be, you know, the actual final boss, etc. But this game does have pre and post game content. I know that sounds weird and you probably are thinking like, what does that mean? But the game itself has because it's the deluxe edition, which, you know, clearly that shows that I care about those who watch these videos because I'm playing the deluxe edition, right? So because of that, you get the opportunity to see this game played in the best version possible. I mean, I actually don't know if I believe that. It has more content, but I don't know. I feel like the Wii U version had a little bit more polish to it. This one just kind of feels like they threw it out there because they wanted to get it on the Switch. I don't know. I'm not going to be too hard on it, but... And we can get our reds back. I don't know if there's going to be too many that were floating around, but we got seven spicy sprays. Two more of them what we started with, which is great. So hopefully we've rescued all the Pikmin out there. I think that should do it. We can head back to the Drake with Brittany and call this a day. And then we'll do kind of an episode proper here in a moment. Oh, we're missing a Pikmin. Oh my gosh. This always seems to happen. There's always just one Pikmin that's just hanging out, you know, getting his jollies. So hopefully the final Pikmin can make his way back. There he is, the little blue Pikmin. I actually really like that feature, and I'll say it every single time. I don't know if that's in the original version of Pikmin 3. So anyway, who knows? But we got the two fruit, the two remaining from the Twilight River. This is a 100% location, all done. Pikmin will make their way back into the onion. It'd be really crappy though if this is the way that I ended the episode. Be like, oh yeah, hey, we got two fruit and then I just kind of got Pikmin. How cool is that? Would you love that, guys? What a fun way to end an episode. But no, that's not how we do things at DMike Industries. You are getting what you paid for. Quality over quantity. And technically in this episode you're getting both because this is kind of like an episode and a half. So there you go. So yeah, maybe, oh, I guess this is different. Maybe this is the Japanese pear and we did get a grapefruit and this is not a persimmon, this is a tangerine. So I am progressively going more and more blind as I do this let's play, but I'm sticking it out for the fans. That's a commitment to quality. The Crunchy Deluge. Yeah, this looks, I guess this does from this, you know, animation. It model, I guess I should say, not animation. It does look like a pear. And it's kind of like a, a nice green, light green juice. So we got an actual, like the normal pear that we're all used to. Oh, I guess I shouldn't say we, but the pear that I'm used to, where I live. The pear shaped pears. And then there's that. So we have a Japanese pear. And now that we've had that juice, we have a nice amount of juice left, which is amazing. Unfortunately, we have to displace that nice amount of juice here in a moment. But that's okay. There are only five fruit left, so I don't know why there's 66 fruit in this game. That's the number they chose. Who knows? But that was day 22, sort of. We have a message from Brittany. Here we go. Our exploration of the planet has reached day 22. We've gathered 61 pieces of fruit and have secured a decent number of seeds as well. We'll be able to save many copites with what we have collected thus far. However, we're still in need of more. We will all need to put our backs into it. After all, that fruit isn't going to pick itself. Signed, Brittany. Are you working hard or hardly working, guys? Come on. All right. So that's a save screen, which is normally very good. But here we go. Hey guys, D Mike here from their episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I wish I had a bit about that. Like I was just gonna pretend like I, you know, like that was gonna be a normal thing to do. Like I hadn't already done this. So yeah, there it is. Twilight River done. Tropical, tropical, tropical wilds. Tropical wilds next. So distant tundra, garden of hope. All done. Tropical wilds. Here we go. 
Louis floating by, gracing us with his thievery as he still waits in sleep mode. Alright, so we've got a nice amount of juice left. We gotta take advantage of this. Here we go. Okay. So you can do this part however you want to. Um, realistically speaking, you kind of just need blues, to be honest. Which is kind of interesting that you go, you know, there's all these puzzles and different ways to solve stuff, but you really only need blues right now. So this whip tongue bull board, we're gonna get him out of the way. He's just kind of a nuisance. So, sorry, not sorry. And we'll throw a handful of Pikmin in here to get those bomb rocks. I think there should be four. And then, if I remember where things are, we have to bring it around town here in a moment. There was a very small fruit, which I don't... Oh. Oh. You are just being all kinds of nasty, aren't you, bud? There were a couple of these guys in the cave with the... the Cromad. I don't know why all my Pikmin didn't charge when I told them to. Well, that was not cool. That is not what I intended to do at all. That's okay. Rest in peace, Blue Pikmin. Alright, so this is kind of the episode proper. Although I don't remember which way I'm going, so there's that. If we remember, there was uh, there was this fruit up here, one of my favorite shaped fruits and shaped people. That's a nice peach. Actually, I think I, I think I just ruined that. I don't know if we've seen peaches in this game yet, so whoops. Our Pikmin are taking their good old time. Getting this stick going. Kind of reminds me of a way that I'd feel about peaches, too. So we'll go ahead and have them climb up there, and hopefully that's the right amount of Pikmin. It is, and then some. Okay. It is refreshing. It's over. It's. Oh, what is happening? Um, Something is happening that's... Oh, we're being attacked by those... Mm. Ah, I forgot. There are those little jerk tadpole things in the water. This was not very well thought out by me, but I guess our Pikmin were able to get back to the Drake anyway. All right, well, I'm feeling vindictive because these guys are jerks and I hate them, so you know what? Yeah, this is happening right now. Oh, yeah. You don't get to, you don't get away with eating my Pikmin's. Oh. Okay, we're good. There's only three of them. They deserve that though, right? I have to keep telling myself that so I can sleep at night. All right, and then we can have our blues just carry this pellet back because we're in the neighborhood. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. And you know what? I'm not even gonna bring those tadpole fish corpses back because they don't deserve it. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. All right, so we have our Pikmin here that have bomb rocks. Hopefully this will work with what I'm about to do. I don't know if bomb rack, bomb racks. I don't know if bomb rocks don't work when you get them wet or if the Pikmin can hold them over their heads, but that's okay. So there we go. Carry that back. And then in this area, if you remember, there was a shoreline where we fought the onion booty crab. Oh, uh, fiery blowhogs, which I keep calling puffy blowhogs. They are not. All right. So we'll have them swarm, we will recall. We'll have them do it again, because... All right. Oh, the crab is coming. We got crabs, everybody. Oh boy. I'm actually not really in the mood to fight this guy, so... If you take a bomb rock, and you put it next to this... Oh! Oh my goodness. Hey, that's not cool. Okay. Well... Oh, he's bubbling us. He is bubbling us. Well, we, well, this is not cool at all. I, see, because I fought this guy with a specific strategy in mind the first time, and then this time I was just like, eh. <laughs> Never seen my Pikmin be uh, caught up in bubbles. I'd really like this guy to quit. Oh, stop it. Just quit. You don't have to be like this. I mean, you do because you're programmed to, but. We see if we can carry this banana. Oh, I ruined it again. Oh my gosh. This guy's such a jerk. 
Oh, I hate, I hate every moment of this. All right. Oh, I'm about to blow my Pikmin up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, that was great, wasn't it? Oh, blue Pikmin, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we are losing Pikmin. Good observation, Alf, you did it. It's okay, we can carry these nasty jerks back. Don't you dare squish us. Leave us be, okay? We'll propagate enough blues in return, but yeah, that was not really my finest moment. Eesh. My bad. All right. We'll send Charlie. Actually, no, you know what? I don't need to do that either. Getting the fruit in this episode isn't really difficult to where I need to really split up. I don't have to do any sort of crazy management. It's just a matter of remembering how to get to it. So this is why you're going to want blue Pikmin, because they're going to take it right through the water, back to the Drake. Yes. Very good. And see, it's nice to follow your Pikmin because they know where they're going when you don't. Case in point, me always. So, yeah. Awesome, right? So go ahead and pluck our Pikmin. We've got two more fruit to get. One of which is kind of interesting with the way that we're going to get it. I just have to remember how to get there. Yeah, so there's two here. You can see one here. And one over here. We're going to want basically just blues to... Actually, no, I think one of them we want winged Pikmin, so... Since we have the blues first, we'll just go ahead and, and do that. It's fruit number three, which I've ruined two of the fruit already in this episode because we're doing awesome. So we'll get more blues. We've got plenty of blues. We'll do 60 blues. Don't even really need a ton. Actually, don't really need this money at all, but... There is a little island, or not island, but there's a little cave that you can get to from where we picked up the uh, the cherry, which I should have left the cherry there because I think we've picked up a cherry because I'm not going to remember where to go. Maybe it's, you know, we will try to figure it out here in a moment. I think it's under here. Get away from me. Yes, this looks like this is the right way to go. So you will need blues exclusively for this. So a lot of them will drastically cut down the amount of time it takes to knock this wall out. And then you have to do a little bit of trickery here once you knock this wall down. This area is kind of weird, but because it's blue only, like you literally can't get through here. I mean, you could sort of get here with like pinks, but it's not really ideal. And you know what? Get this guy. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, how's that feel? You can get some help, Brittany. It's called staying out of the heckin' way. So you'll be wondering like, why are there candy pop buds? Why? What is going on? What is this gross thing? You know? Well, the reality of the situation is you're going to need some rock Pikmin. So that's what these are. These are rock buds. And when you throw five of your Pikmin in there, they will be converted into rock Pikmin. Now, this is only temporary because if you noticed on the other side, there were blue candy pop buds so you can and you're gonna have to convert your pikmin back or they will drown or i mean i guess you could leave a captain here with your pikmin if you wanted to waste time but time is of the essence so yeah go ahead and use your rocks this guy's gonna kind of flop around a little bit he's got a candy coating and you can knock it out in two cycles there and then once he comes back and lays down it's kind of gross looking looks like a frog Kind of. All right. I would like him to go and try to take a nap again. Nothing's better than murdering Pikmin enemies in their sleep. All right, here we go. This should be enough. Yeah, that was quick. And there it is. So we have the Japanese apricot. I think it's or a green apricot. I don't know. We have the something apricot. And we also have to be careful, too, because there's these stupid fish things in the water and How about you don't do this? All right. All right, Blue Pikmin. Let's get some revenge here. It just feels right, you know? It just feels like something you're supposed to do. All right. The one thing that's really annoying about the water is that it's really hard. Oh, Rock Pikmin. Oh, no. Oh, boy. 
Oh, Rock Pikmin. Rock Pikmin, get there. Come on. All right. Oh, we lost two. Ugh. Anyway, that's not ideal. What you want to do is take them back over to the blue candy pop buds and then reconvert them. Just like we're on a mission trip. They do sound kind of sad, though, when you do that. They're just like, oh, I don't want to be a blue Pikmin. I want to be a rock Pikmin. I'm sorry, rock Pikmin. And it makes you wonder, like, how that process works exactly. Like, it's some sort of a metamorphosis, right? Like, they're obviously, you know, transforming from one thing into another, but I don't know exactly biologically how that works. I am not a biologist. I can be an armchair biologist. I mean, at the very least, like, I know that, that birds aren't real. So, you know, I do have, like, a little bit of a background in biology. But anyway, let's go actually get our fruit that we missed out on. Because of those stupid fish. Heckin' fish trying to get in our way. And we will continue back. And then we have one final fruit to get. This will be number four, if we're counting. A one, a two, a three, a four. And because we're in the neighborhood, we don't need any more blues, but you know. Some some of my enemies, I will just let their corpses rot there because they're turds and they don't deserve the satisfaction of being turned into Pikmin. At other times, you know, why not? There's a hierarchy of vindictiveness that I feel like I have in here. That's just how it works. I'm getting a lot of blues, actually. Wow. I'm gonna check the co-pad here real quick. Oop, wrong button. I'm gonna check the wrong button here real quick. And you can see how many Pikmin you have, which is really nice. So, we have a ton of pink and rock and yellow and, you know, blue. You know, we realistically, we don't... If you have at least 100 of every type of Pikmin, you're fine. That'll suit you for your needs. And it's not really that hard to get them all. We have... Where did the... Oh. They're almost on the way. Okay. So in the meantime, we will go ahead and put our blues back, because I believe that I can get to the final area without needing to do that. And we're about to have more blues here in a moment, once they bring back that... Gross... Ugh. Ugh. I just don't like it. You know, it's just... It's just slimy. It looks slimy and gross. Slimy and gross things are slimy and gross. All right. So we'll have 15 blue Pikmin. That gave us quite a bit. More than that, actually. And then we'll just get a bunch of pinks because, you know, this is our last hurrah. We might as well enjoy ourselves. We don't really need blues anymore. We respect them as... Pikmin who have really contributed to the cause. Okay. There's another cave right here, which we did not explore. Which, because we have pink Pikmin, they will just slowly smash their cute little heads against the bridge. And we have flighty joust mites in here, so... Being aerial enemies, we can't take them out. Oh yeah. You ready for this? Get him, winged Pikmin. Yeah, get him. Nope, not today, ha, huh? and you're stuck because you're dumb. Yeah, get him. Yes, that's one. Okay, let's get out of the way here. Woo! I like winged Pikmin because they're fast. They're not the strongest. Oh, well, if I would have done it the, the right way, that would have probably helped. So we have all these fluke weeds, and that makes me think that there's probably a... There's got to be a fruit in here somewhere. We just have to figure out where it is. Oh, there's grubs. Gross. Absolutely disgusting. Ooh, a spicy spray. Take that. That'll be good for the final encounter. We don't actually need to know. We don't really need any more winged Pikmin. We have the most of them, so we're doing okay. We just gotta figure out the process of... Oh my gosh. Some of these grub things are gross. Like, some of them are... Uh, it's like female versus male grubs, sheer grubs, is that what they are? And 
some of them are like aggressive. The ones that are like kind of round, these ones have like little pinchers on them. The round ones, I think are the female ones and they are less aggressive. Potentially more emotionally deep. Their social IQ is higher, so who knows. But yeah, so we got our pink Pikmin to carry back the low quat, come quat, whatever this is. And that's the final fruit. That's the final fruit of the game, in fact. That we can collect in any of these areas. So, everybody, we did it. So, since I'm running a little long, so once this gets taken back to the Drake, we'll go ahead and call it a day. I believe that should be all the Pikmin we have left. Unless I left some somewhere, so we'll go ahead and pluck these ones just to make sure. We have the ten... That looks right. Okay. Retrieve a total of 66 fruits. Story mode. So that's the most you can get. That's, uh... Oops. That is a wrap, everybody. So let's go ahead and put our Pikmin back one last time before we head to the final area in next time's episode. Good work, everybody. Let's end the day. This is the last time we'll ever hear this little jingle. Very sad. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what the the Captain Olimar missions are like. Those might have it in it. I don't know. But this is the last time we're going to hear it with these three of our intrepid explorers. As they blast off into the atmosphere one last time. Whip Tongue Bulborg. Bulborb. Disappointed one last time. Sorry, bud. Well, that's it. All of the Pikmin areas fully explored for the most part. All the fruit gathered. It's 100%, everybody. Okay. So we did have a cherry before. That's right, there was one on the distant tundra. It was the nose on the snowman. But uh, yeah, I spoiled the peach and the banana. So there you go. Here's the mock bottom. Apple bottom, peach bottom, pear bottom, onion beauty. Nice pink juice, although I feel like peaches are orange. I don't think peach juice looks like that. This actually does look like pink lemonade. So, I don't know. Cupid's grenade, another cherry. Cherries are delicious, maybe on a nice ice cream sundae. The slapstick crescent, I love that. This, my friends, is a banana. I love bananas. Strawberries and bananas are a very good combo. I don't know if you can... Can you juice a banana? I don't know if that's a thing. I know that you can put like a banana in a smoothie. But I don't know if bananas have like enough water content to really be juiced. But yeah. But there's a... Uh, the Achievo. All the fruits. I don't know what that means, because we do have all the fruit on this planet. Although I'm assuming that Brittany is just referring to the fact that there may be other fruit on Earth that, you know, PNF 404. It's kind of suggested that they could look and find, but who knows? I don't think that's really going to happen anymore. But, you know, when you get this much fruit, we got them all. So there it is, the final quest, the Cosmic Drive Key Retrieval, which we will be doing soon in the next episode. So we are awesome. Yeah, if it takes you 75 in-game days to do the final boss, then I don't know. Maybe kick the difficulty down a little bit. We will be doing just fine. So that's day 23. That was not my best playthrough of uh, efficiency and some casualties. I also really like that they have the little head icon of Louie next to our explorers. I kind of like that. That's funny. But yeah. So let's get one last journal entry before the final boss. And it's from Charlie. A moment of silence for the Pikmin we have lost today. Okay, that's enough. Losing soldiers is something you never quite get used to. But it's our responsibility to go on. And go on we shall. Signed, Charlie. Yeah, this is kind of the game, being a little passive-aggressive, like, hey, dummy, you lost a bunch of Pikmin. 
Although when I've played in the past, I have lost way more than this. I've actually had run-throughs where I've lost like 50 to 100 at a time because I was just being a bonehead. But anyway, yeah, that was an episode and a half. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. All fruit collected. And next time, we take on the final boss to get the Cosmic Drive Key. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.